there are different tools that you have to use when you're shooting your muzzle loader. First thing you're going to need is your powder measure. You're not going to be pouring your powder directly from the can. Essentially, if there's an ember down at the bottom of that barrel waiting for you, you got a big hand grenade. So you don't want to do that. You always want to pour your powder separately. So you can have a very simple powder measure just like this. It'll just open from the top, put the powder in there, and you can even measure out how much powder you want to have in there. If you're going to be using round balls, you're going to want to have a ball starter. And a ball starter has the short start, as you'll see right here. And you'll see me press the ball in, and then you'll put this over the ball, and then push it down into the bore just to get it started before you put the ramrod down there. Now we got ball, we got powder, but the only way you're going to get that projectile down range is if you're using your percussion caps. This is what actually makes the flame that ignites the powder. Now when you're using round ball, you need to have patches. This is going to seal up that little gas seal and make this thing able to go down the bore and sit snug in the bore over the powder. These are 0 .10 thickness, so that's why I have 0.57 balls to make up for that extra 0.1. Makes sense, right? Now, almost every muzzle loader is equipped with its own ramrod, but for being on the range here and I got the full kit, I'm going to be using a range rod which is a very simple screw together brass rod that does not harm the bore because it's brass, it's a softer metal, and it's a whole lot heavier than a plastic or a synthetic or even a wood ramrod. So this is extra handy for getting the ball down the bore. Now before you do anything, you want to ensure that this gun is not already loaded. So before you start doing your pre-shoot checks, you want to set your rifle down right here. Make sure the cone does not have a percussion cap on it. You're going to pull out your ramrod, just like that. And the ramrod, if you haven't noticed already, is the length of the barrel and just a hair more. You're going to take the ramrod, drop it down that bore, and you're going to see right there, if you can get a good look at it, that is the extension that is past the bore that actually goes into the channel here that retains it. You're going to see that there is nothing in that barrel. Now accidents do happen. People have been well known to leave their muzzle loaders after let's say a hunting season or something, load it up and they forget about it. So they'll double charge or they'll have a negligent discharge because they weren't paying any attention. They didn't do any pre-checks. This is imperative when it comes down to your black powder guns that you have to do that first. Nobody wants to get their face blown off because they didn't bother to take two seconds to check their gun. Now, a common myth of the muzzle loader is they are unreliable when it comes down to ignition. Well, there's a lot of reasons for that. So a lot of the problems you'll run into if you don't have good ignition, you might have moisture in the barrel. You might have blockages and stuff. Black powder fouls very badly. But the first thing you want to do when you get out on the range is you want to do a channel check. So put on the half cock, take one of your caps, Put it on the nipple and you're going to point it down at some grass or something to check if the channel is clear. Watch this. Alright guys, did you catch that? So when I fired the percussion cap with the empty barrel down at the blade of grass, you clearly see the gases from the percussion cap pushing the grass. Me and the flash channel and the barrel are clear of obstructions. So the gun is clear, everything's ready to go, let's get her loaded up. Like I mentioned before, never pour directly from your can. You're essentially setting yourself up to get your face blown off if an ember sparks this off. So have your measure ready to go. Take your topper off, measure it off. Make sure you cap that bottle. I can't even count how many times I've watched videos about guys who didn't cap their bottles and then they go and shoot around it, spark goes in there, boom. But we have our powder measure ready. You're gonna set your muzzle loader down with the barrel angled away from you. Take your measure with your powder, pour it down in there. Make sure it's all in there. Now get ready for your projectile. So you have your powder poured and now you have to get your projectile. So you're gonna take your patch, set it over the bore. See how my thumb is kind of off to the side and away from the bore when I'm holding that patch on there. You take your round ball, center it on the patch and on the bore. And then you're gonna take your ball starter using the short start. There you go and then you drive it down. Now it's ready to be driven all the way down the barrel. Yet another critically important part, you can be distracted talking to your buddies or God only knows what else, and you can leave that ball short started. Well, if you ignite that powder with that ball short started, you're gonna turn your gun into a pipe bomb. It's gonna blow up right in your face. So you have to do this step by step and make sure everything is done correctly. 
it's very important. So now we have the ball short started, take your range rod, send it down there, make sure it is seated against the powder. All right, now we're ready to cap it. Keeping that rifle down range, put it on the half cock, place your cap on the cone, and when you're ready to fire, pull it back on full cock and you're ready to rock and roll.